What do you do when you have gone through a tremendous time of of mental and emotional stress where it feels like you are just crumbling? Well, a good place to begin is to believe that God meets us in our experience. God meets us in our experience. For some people, that's a big step. It's a big deal to believe that, especially if you're somebody who, who believes in statements like, God doesn't let us uh, face more than we can handle. Have you ever heard that before? God never gives us more than we can handle. Sometimes we're told that by other people as if to say God is the one who has given you your challenge. Maybe like it's a test, maybe it's to make you stronger, but God is the one who's given it to you. And therefore, because God gives it to you, you can handle it. But if God never gives us more than we can handle, how do you explain suicide? If God never gives you more than you can handle, how do you explain somebody who has gone through a mental stress that that pushes them over the edge of reason and they're just not able to come back in one sense i understand a statement like that we say god never gives us more than we can handle because we want to believe god's in control we want to believe that that god is like the great oz the person behind the curtain pulling the levers but what if what if god is not a lever puller what if god's power is not seen in orchestrating everything that goes on but rather god's power is seen in the way that god meets us in whatever we're going through to help us and give us strength to face that rather than saying god never gives us more than we can handle Perhaps it's better to say, God never lets us handle anything alone. 